Oscar, hablamos de tu demostración ante una arena llena. Fíjate que estoy muy contento porque si hay afición que, que, que sigue con uno en las buenas y en las malas, la gente estuvo aquí para apoyarme y le agradezco a toda esa gente, toda esa afición que estuvo conmigo. Eh, lo hago por ellos, lo hago por mi familia, lo hago por mi legado. Estoy bien agradecido con toda esa gente que está conmigo en las buenas y en las malas. Okay. Oscar, pasaste. Cuando te dropped en el floor. Uh, I was just happy. We practiced that shot. You know, I want to thank Eddie. I want to thank Eddie because we worked so hard to be where we're at right now. And it's pretty unfortunate that when we, when we lose, we want to blame somebody. But when we win, we got we to show respect who, who helped us be where we're at. So I was very happy that we did it as a team. Oscar, aquí, aquí pasaste la victoria. uno de los momentos más dolorosos de tu carrera. Decías cómo extraño ser campeón del mundo y ahora estás en una de las más grandes alegrías de tu carrera. Describe eso. Estoy muy contento, agradecido con Dios, agradecido con mi equipo, con Eddie Reynoso, con, con Juan Carlos Barragán, con todo el equipo, mi padre don, y con Frank Espinosa. Porque uno no llega aquí solo, llega como un equipo, es un deporte individual, pero le metemos todas las ganas en el gimnasio como un equipo. Y gracias a ellos estoy aquí. Entonces... Se, se cumplió otro sueño, volver a ser campeón mundial. Muchas veces dicen que cuando pierdes ya estás acabado. Mucha gente, cuando me quedaron la mandíbula, dije, dijeron que no iba a ser el mismo. Cuando tuve una guerra, dijeron que no iba a ser el mismo. Cuando pegué con Berchet, dijeron que me iban a noquear. A mí no me gusta hacerle caso a la gente, yo le hago caso a mi equipo. Y sabemos que nos podemos levantar de cualquier derrota. Eso no solo lo, lo, lo demostramos, así que estoy muy contento por el resultado. Eddie, ah, por favor, Eddie, Eddie, ese séptimo round, por favor. Háblanos del séptimo round. Pues fíjate que nosotros sabíamos que eventualmente se iba a cambiar zurdo porque lo estábamos estudiando. Estuvimos estudiando mucho en cuanto se cambió zurdo, dije, es mi oportunidad. Y se entregó con el, con el cruzado. Lo lastimamos, tiramos una como sabíamos que estaba lastimado y vacié todo lo que tenía ahí para acabar la pelea. Venado Eddie López Reynoso, por favor, define a este guerrero. Venado López y Oshaki Foster were both in attendance today. What message do you think you send out to them? I mean, you know, I got a lot of respect for Oshaki Foster and, and Venado. Um, nothing personal, but the best want to fight the best. Let's bring old school boxing back. We're the best fight the best. So I don't mind. I don't care who, who it is. I'll fight the, the I'll fight whoever. Eddie Eddie Reynoso, define por favor a este guerrero. Que no, es muy emocionado, es algo grande. Sí, es un, es un, más que nada es un gran deportista. La verdad, él se merece todo lo que ha ganado en el boxeo. Y como todo, siempre hay, hay derrotas, hay victorias, pero realmente lo más importante es trabajar bien, trabajar con, con armonía. Y, y la verdad, me siento muy orgulloso de estar trabajando con él porque siempre se entregan en el gimnasio y en las peleas. Hey Oscar, so it's safe to say that you're not going to retire like you told me when I saw you in Vegas. No man, no retirement right here man, we're still, we're back, we're still here, and we're still here for a while. You know, uh, you got exceptions, you got people like Donito Donari, you got like Pacquiao, Omanel Marquez, all these guys, you know, they retired late in the, in the sport. I refuse to believe that once you're 30, you're done in the sport. I refuse to believe a lot of things of what people say. I train very hard in the gym and, you know, I, I work hard to be where I'm at right now, so. My discipline will get me as far as I can. Oscar, how important was you to, to pass that a message along to Liam, like not to go? Because you kind of kind of waffled maybe a little bit, of, am I going to stay, am I going to go? But now that you've gone through these trials and tribulations, how important was you to pass along that message to Liam Wilson not to go? Well, I want to be that example that not only because you lose, it means you're done in the sport. That popular undefeated record, you know, it became so popular that everybody wants to keep their, their, their undefeated record. And that's why a lot of people don't want to fight the best. They want to avoid other fighters. So it doesn't matter if you have a loss. You know, the great Muhammad Ali lost, Mike Tyson lost, Julio Cesar Chavez lost, everybody has losses. It doesn't take the fact that they're great fighters. So my message to someone like Leo Wilson, don't give up, come back. He's, he's a world-class fighter. How was your reaction? Were you surprised that he was able to take all your hard shots throughout every round? Because you were laying some good hooks on him and, and he was taking them. I wasn't surprised, but because um, I know he's a, he's a tough fighter. I've seen him fight before, like I said, against Kiro Navarro. I knew it was going to be a tough fight. And I wasn't surprised at all. Um, I just did my best to try to get him out as much as possible. Oscar, uh, you break down the, the finishing sequence. Like, you heard him, you just kept going. It seemed like he was kind of got a little shrink back and then just kind of kept your foot on the gas. You know what? We, we practiced that shot. We knew he was going to turn himself off. We were studying so much. That's what happens when you watch a lot of film. As a team, you study the opponents. And we knew eventually he was going to turn himself off. We had a softball sparring partners. And we knew he was, that shot was going to come. That's why I made it so happy. Because, you know, it's... it's, it's You know, the law of attraction, you call it out, you speak, you pray, and we got it. So I'm going to thank the Lord. Oscar, Oscar, the idea was to bring him in inside. Um, that was the plan. We knew, we knew Leon Wilson is a, is a tough fighter. We knew he was going to go in there and bang. He said it. So we welcomed that. We welcomed him to stay in there and let's duke it out for the fans. 
No, I take my hat off for someone like Leon Wilson. Not the respect. Speaking of the fans, how was your reaction of the whole environment of all the fans here in Glendale? I'm um, happy. You know, I was always, always excited to see the whole fans. You know, they got true fans behind me. They're loyal. You know, like I said before, you lose. You know, a lot of people leave, leave, leave you. When you win, everybody's with you. But tonight, I, you know, I, I realized I still got a lot of fans, even though you lose or win. Oscar, ¿qué dices del pueblo mexicano? Me llama Oscar. la atención lo que me decías en la semana, que disfrutas hoy, has madurado, eh, disfrutas las concentraciones antes, antes que algo que no hacías antes. Sin duda, porque sabemos que eso no va a ser para siempre. Yo amo tanto el boxeo que es mi hobby, es mi pasión, me la paso entrenando todo el tiempo. Entonces, de tanto recorrido aprendes a, a valorar y, y a disfrutar los momentos. Todos esos momentos los he empezado a disfrutar como, como no tienen ni idea, porque es mi vida el, el boxeo. Desde que era un niño, desde 8 años, los unía va a estar aquí. Entonces sé que no va a ser para siempre, pero lo estoy aprovechando al máximo. Oscar, ¿qué dice la opción mexicana que tiene otra vez un campeón mundial en los cabrones? Agradecido con toda esa gente que ha estado conmigo. Toda la afición mexicana, toda la, eh, la afición latinoamericana. Le agradezco por, por estar conmigo de buenas y las malas. Yo fui inspirado por grandes peleadores. Tengo un gran entrenador, tengo un gran equipo y lo hago para brindarles buenas peleas. Brindarles unas buenas peleas como cuando yo crecí. Yo quiero inspirar a la nueva generación de la misma manera como los mis ídolos me inspiraron a mí. ¿Y cómo es trabajar con los Valdés? No, es sencillo. Cuando tienes una persona disciplinada, es sencillo, es muy obediente, es trabajador y como te digo, ojalá y hubiera muchísimos como él para seguir trabajando. ¿Cuál es su mayor virtud? La disciplina. La disciplina y el corazón que tiene en el gimnasio y arriba de él. Eric, ¿qué le decías durante los asaltos en la esquina cada vez que pasaba cada asalto? Cuando veías que el peleador Wilson. Pues era, era, un, poco era, era no, y aparte es muy peligroso, él tiene un gran gancho arriba, una derecha muy, muy, muy fuerte y realmente trabajó muy bien Oscar, round por round, estuvimos ganando, por ahí cometió un error en el sexto round, que le metió una buena derecha porque él la provocó, pero creo que, que en, en sí trabajó muy bien la pelea, round por round. Oscar, what's your opinion on the co-main events? Anisia Estrada with Yocasta Valle. Um, you know, it was a good fight from what I was watching. I believe around the fifth round, I was watching the fight and it froze on us. And we weren't able to see it. I was, I was pretty upset because it was a good fight from the fifth round. And from there, I, I wasn't able to see it. So um, I, I, what I was seeing, from what I, the little that I got to see, you know, it was a heck of a fight. Both, I take my head off for both of those warriors. You know, the female boxing is coming, is coming strong. It's evolving into something great. So that's good. Good for all boxing. Oscar, you uh, talked to Canelo. Has he uh, congratulated you already? Yeah, Canelo called, called me. It was a FaceTime, man. You know, just congratulate me. All I can say to him is, you're next. Let's go get that win. Is there a war between Canelo and Mungia? Yes, because they're two Mexicans. Mungia, we know that it's not a boxer that goes forward, goes forward. It can be that he presents a very good fight. Because they're two Mexicans. Every time there are two Mexicans above the ring, he presents a good fight. Eddie, tomorrow another champion of the world with Rey Martinez. Yes, we're here for Las Vegas. Five stitches. Five stitches? Five stitches. Headbutt. Headbutt. Awesome, awesome. My quick question. You have no control over it, but do you think that Mark Nelson Southwest was all right? Yes, um, I was hoping to stop a little bit earlier. Yeah. <laughs> I was trying to load up on all those shots. Yeah. But um, there's a moment where you think that the, the stop is never going to come or the victory is not going to come. It came, it was one of us. Very uh, special. You seem like straight out of a movie, Oscar. Obviously, you know, being Rocky, him being Drago, you know, you going or in the sense, you know, Soviet Union. Is that what it felt like for you, you know, being in that ring? It feels, like a, it feels exactly like that, like a movie. It feels like everything that is, is going right here is it's a movie because there's a lot of sacrifice behind You know, people see this movie. You know, you sacrifice two, three months, and even a lifetime for this little time. Only, only just a fraction of alcohol. This is the fun part. But people don't see the back, the, the back side where we train hard, we sacrifice. You know, abstinence. We leave the family back. We leave everything to be where we're at. We're training. A lot of sacrifice. But this that happened is all worth it. Oscar, on a personal level, how important was it to get back in the winners' cup? It means it means the world to me. At the end of the day, this puts food on the table for my family. You know, I got I got I got a big family and and someone needs to someone needs to show up. How would you how would you describe his power? Uh, he's, he's decent, decent, decent shot. So um, nothing too crazy, but he's, he's good. Oscar, any predictions on what's gonna happen with Navarrete? I just hope I get on Navarrete wins. <laughs> I just hope he wins. I'm always ready for the Mexican. You know, I was ready for him when he found Leo Wilson as well. You know, no bad blood between me and me and Vaquero. If we get a chance in the future, man, we would love it because, um, love fight yeah, because you know, this we'll fight anybody. Right. There's no, no bad blood against no. I have nothing personal against no fighters out there. It's just sport for me. I just want to fight the best and 
and go on from there. Be, leave a good legacy in my life. Who would you any, like to fight next? If you could make any fight for yourself, who would you fight next? Who would you want to fight next? Anybody, man. We like to unify. Whoever has the belt, oh, just go. Bashir, Bashir, Bashir is good. Oscar, just last, last question, guys. How do you find the motivation and just, just the excitement and that fire? And you, know, just, you don't have much, you don't have so much to yourself. I've, the I've done nothing yet in the sport. I've done nothing, you know, you got people like, like Eddie Morales, who was a four time world champion. Mm -hmm. You got who was the who defending their titles. You got fighters like Oscar De La Hoya, who was multiple champions, multiple division champions. If I retired today, I didn't accomplish nothing. I want to I wanna leave a good legacy, a legacy. I want to be one of the greats. So that's my dream. Um, and this is just another step. This doesn't mean I made it. I haven't made it yet. I'm still, I'm still hungry for, for bigger and better things. Last question, guys. Thank you to all my people. For the real people of the that are with me, the good and the bad. When you lose, everyone is with you. And when you lose, many are going to the boat. All that people that have been with me, the good and the bad, I do it for you. I appreciate it. Are we seeing the best Oscar Valdez right now? No, we still, we still got more. We're still, we're still getting more.